Hey guys, what is up? Um, I hope you are staying stress-free during remote learning. And I hope that uh, week five is treating you well. Um, I know that this process is very difficult. Um, so I just wanna thank you guys before we get into this for sticking with me, continuing to put in uh, you know, the same amount of effort that you had been putting in during the actual weeks that we were in school. So I appreciate that. Um, I've been enjoying seeing, uh, as I said, just how dedicated that you guys are staying towards succeeding on this AP test that's coming up on May 11th. So just stick with me. We've got just a couple weeks left. Uh, I'm going to try and make these next couple of weeks as beneficial as possible to get you guys prepared for uh, being successful on May 11th. So um, <clears throat> one of the things that we are going to uh, do is, as always, go through the weekly overview and what is expected of this week. Um, just a couple of things before we get started. I want to talk about... Um, exam review and just some materials that I've been posting <clears throat> in the last couple of weeks. Um, and I also want to point out that if there is something that you feel like would be extremely beneficial for review that we have not done yet, some sort of strategy or something like that, please make sure to reach out and let me know. Um, if you're like, hey, I would really like to do, you know, this activity, one of my other AP teachers is doing it, I think it would be really helpful. I will absolutely do that. Um, so, we're going to ramp up review a little bit more this week. So um, just let me know if you guys have any suggestions. Um, so under the exam review tab, I just want to point out a couple of things that I've posted. Um, you have your review guide, which you are going to continue working on in sections this week. Um, so you guys have already seen that. I'm not going to open that up. Um, something else that I have um, uploaded are uh, plenty of videos to help guide your review. Um, you know, if you are reviewing your notes and you're going back through notes and class videos and the materials that I've posted on our website and Google Classroom and you're like, man, I just don't get it. I want it to, uh, phrased a different way. I want to look somewhere else. These videos are a good place to look. Um, so I have uploaded uh, a couple of really good videos from trusted people on YouTube. Um, that are helpful. So you've got your required documents video, your required court cases video, and then a couple of videos for um, units one, two, and three. And I know that that sounds weird because obviously like in our class, it, it's like five units that this test covers. Uh, the way that AP and College Board uh, arranges our class, this is uh, covering um, units one, two, and three. So that includes foundations, federalism, the three branches, and then civil rights and civil liberties. So I guess that's six units that we covered. Okay, so unit one uh, would be your foundations and federalism. Unit two would be your uh, interactions between the three branches of government plus the bureaucracy. And then unit three is civil rights and civil liberties. Okay, so those are there for you. Um, I have also been posting um, every day that we have one of those review sessions, the review presentation that the uh, teacher uses as they go through the actual presentation. Uh, and this is a resource for you um, if you would like to kind of walk through a specific topic a little bit more. Um, you can include some notes. This might be a good resource for you to have on test day. Okay. Um, those are not mandatory. I do want to say that these are optional. You do not have to complete those. I'm not checking these, but if you are wanting some extra review uh, and you're going through them and you have a question, make sure to reach out to me. Um, you will have to make a copy though to type on it. I just have it set in uh, view mode, okay? So I have um, all of the activities that we've done or topics that we've done so far uploaded and I will continue to upload those as we go through um, the weeks here. All right, so let's talk about week five. Um, again, we're just reviewing this week. Um, continuing to chug along onto that review guide and doing some more practice with FRQs and getting ourselves prepared for, uh, you know, looking at foundational documents, being able to use those effectively in an argument. So I've posted the Google Meet uh, links here as well. Just like last week, you have your link for the morning session from 9 to 11, and then your session in the afternoon from 1 to 2. So make sure to utilize those. I cannot stress that enough, you guys. Please don't sit there confused. Please don't give up. If you have a question, you are stuck, you don't know where to begin, please reach out to me. Even if you don't want to do Google Meet, send me an email. OK, 
right? I'm here to help. Um, Monday is very similar to last week. Uh, it's actually the same format as last week, just a different uh, walkthrough video because it's a different FRQ. So you have two tasks for Monday. One is to watch this intro video, which you're doing that now on Edpuzzle, uh, and answer the questions that are embedded in it. There is one change just from feedback from last week. Um, there is no separate survey at the end um, because it seems like there was some confusion um, <clears throat> based on like, okay, when do I get the link? It's not working whatever reason. Um, so I got rid of the survey and instead I've just embedded the questions into the video on Edpuzzle. Now to get credit for the introduction video, which you guys know you do, um, you do have to watch 100% of the video and answer all of the questions. Okay, so make sure that you are still doing that to, in order to get credit. Uh, the second task for Monday, the 27th, is to, um, again, you can do uh, revisions on the argumentative FRQ. I would assume that most of you are going to have to do revisions only because we have not done an argumentative FRQ in a while, and this is obviously the harder of the two FRQs, and um, it's 60% of your AP test. So I have linked in a walkthrough video that I made on the FRQ from last week. Um, this is a similar format from last week. So when you finish watching the walkthrough, you may then revise your FRQ. Uh, I need to edit this. You will not receive an email from me with your original response because your original responses are down here on Friday, April 24th. Okay, so you do not need uh, to find an extra email from me. You can just open up your assignment from what you turned in on that Friday or whenever you turned it in. Okay, so let me go back here. Uh, you will open up your original FRQ to see um, how, how you responded. What I recommend is um, basically having the walkthrough video up in one tab and your uh, FRQ in another tab so that way you can kind of bounce back and forth and see how um, your writing compares to my suggestions in the video. Um, I will say, you guys, um, that this video is a little long. You guys know I'm typically long-winded in the first place, uh, but I definitely wanted to walk through uh, the prompt in depth um, and then go over the rubric. I go over a lot of strategies for writing the FRQ um, that you will have to write on the 11th, so it is worthwhile. Um, you guys also know that while I am long-winded, I don't do things that are pointless. Uh, hopefully you guys know that by now. So um, definitely take your time, make your revisions, um, and then please type those revisions just like last week on a, a Google Doc. If you want to make a copy of your response from Friday and then type in a different color underneath your writing or add on to your original writing in another color and then upload it, to this assignment, that works great. Uh, however you wanna do that, I'll be flexible. I'm not gonna be too picky. Um, but just make sure that you're uploading your revision to this assignment. Please don't resubmit it to Friday uh, the 24th. That will help me stay a little bit more sane as I'm going through and um, grading your responses. Um, just like last week, those disclaimers, you may not submit a revised FRQ if you have not watched the video for the FRQ. Okay, I think that goes without saying. Make sure that you're watching that. And then obviously, if you haven't completed the FRQ from last week, you have to do that first. So if you don't complete the FRQ, you watch the walkthrough video and then submit, I'm not gonna give you the revision credit um, and you'll get a lower grade, okay? So make sure that you are uh, doing those things in the right order, okay? So if you have any questions on revisions, um, and I say this in the video as well, if you wanna do a session where I'm helping you walk through the argumentative FRQ, uh, this is definitely the hardest part um, of the AP test. So make sure that you are uh, reaching out to me. Um, if you want practice, we're gonna be doing some as a class, but if you want additional practice, I can absolutely give you some prompts and we can walk through those together, okay? So then Tuesday is work on your uh, AP exam review guide, and that is to complete section four. And just like last week, I'm not going to post the review guide here. It would be in too many places if I did that. So you're just going to go up to the AP exam review and complete the assignment here. Um, one of the questions I did not address last week was, do I turn it in? Uh, how do you want me to do that? 
it's up to you guys. You can see someone's turned it in here. Um, I will return it to you uh, if you uh, turn it in so that way you can still edit it, uh, but you don't have to turn it in. I'm gonna go through at the end of each week and kind of see who's done what pieces of the review guide, okay? So section four for Tuesday. And then you have one other assignment for Tuesday, um, which is to complete a sorting activity. Um, you guys have typically been uh, a fan of these in the past, uh, and my hope is to give you guys as many resources as possible um, that you can have on test day. And this is, uh, and I'll open it in a second, but I hope that this is a a short document that you can have open that you don't have to scroll through to find information. So uh, we will do one of these on uh, foundational documents, which is this one. And then we will also do one on the court cases that are required for the class. So um, I'm going to have you guys complete this assignment as it's loading here. Uh, but what you see is that you have all nine of the foundational documents um, and they're like underneath is left blank. Your job is to match the appropriate main ideas that are found here on the left. And I'll show you those in a second to the matching founding document below here, right? So uh, if you scroll over, you'll have to scroll over to see all nine responses, but you'll take a look and you'll say, okay, freedom is never voluntary given by the oppressor. It must be demanded, nonviolent direct action, makes people confront existing tensions, deals with the 14th amendment, right? I gave you guys main ideas uh, and main arguments that are found in the documents. Your job is to click and drag them to the appropriate column. This one is not Fed 10, so don't put it there. I just wanted to drag it to show you how it works. Okay, and it will fit nice and neat into uh, the blank section underneath the document. Um, and then you'll have a nice color coded, each one is a different color, um, kind of like a nice cheat sheet for exam day. Uh, at least that's my hope. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys um, get that back there. So that is Tuesday. Um, this will be graded for accuracy. Um, at this point, um, my philosophy is between office hours, uh, between the review videos, there is no excuse. So you will be graded uh, in terms of accuracy. I will allow for corrections, but just know that you will be graded based on how you score um, on that sorting activity. I'm going to treat it kind of like a quiz, so to speak. Okay. Uh, the final thing for Tuesday is I will be holding um, office hours just like we do every week uh, with all of the AP Gov teachers from 1 to 145. Uh, something different though is your girl will be doing the uh, test review session. So I will be the one actually leading it. So if you've missed my voice besides these nice notes and uh, intro videos, uh, I highly recommend you stop by. Um, some of your feedback is that those video or that those review sessions are um, not as helpful as you would like them to be. So I'm going to try and make it a little bit more interactive. Um, I'm going to do the best I can. If you've been to one, usually there's like 90 people in it. So obviously I can't get too interactive. Um, but I am going to try and make it a little bit more interactive uh, for you guys um, based on your feedback. So I appreciate that. Um, so on Tuesday, the 28th at 1, we are going to be talking about Congress and the legislative branch. Um, we'll be looking at uh, the bill to law process and all of that stuff. So uh, highly, 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 highly recommend that you come uh, if you are able. And I would love to see uh, some familiar faces. Um, I miss you guys. And we won't see each other the rest of the year. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind for Tuesday. Wednesday is no activities besides completing two different sections of your AP review guide. And I know that that sounds a little daunting, but these sections are not that long. Um, they're shorter than a couple of the other sections you've already done. So you will be doing sections five and six of your AP exam review guide. Again, going up here to complete that. Um, and then I will be checking for completion at the end of this week. So your task for the review guide this week to earn max credit is to complete sections four through six um, of that AP review guide. Okay, that's Wednesday. Thursday is another FRQ practice. So um, we're going to try and alternate between concept and argumentative essays. So um, uh, Thursday, excuse me, is a practice concept application FRQ. 
And again, I'm not going to have us do it on Google Cl or uh, AP Classroom. <clears throat> so you'll just respond directly to this prompt here. Um, and please, please remember to time yourselves um, because you should be spending no more than 15 minutes on this assignment. Um, and then just like weeks past, uh, we will be grading this for accuracy but you will have chance for revisions. So do your best the first time, uh, but you will have a chance to revise uh, the next coming week, okay? Uh, and then Thursday, we will have another class session if you are able to make it from 4 to 4.45, and we will be discussing the foundational documents. So this might be a good uh, session to attend if you are struggling with the matching assignment for Tuesday, okay? Um, so that is Thursday. Um, I'll open up this FRQ document. It's the same uh, structure basically as the one from last week, the argumentative FRQ. Uh, you will just type your answers in these three boxes here for A, B, and C. Okay. So that is it for week five because Friday you guys do not have school. Um, we as teachers have a PD day online, so you guys do not have any assignments for Friday. Um, so hopefully uh, that was a clear enough overview. Um, please refer back to this video if you need. Make sure you're answering all of the uh, questions embedded in the video. I miss you guys. Uh, I wish I could say that you know we would be seeing each other again this year. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, it felt kind of weird hearing that announcement. I know some of you reached out to me. It was kind of like we left for spring break with no like period to the end of a sentence. It was just kind of like cut off and we didn't get a chance to say a formal goodbye. Uh, but I'm still here. Make sure that you are reaching out to me if you have any questions. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, safe and healthy week. So see you later, guys.